So here's Carrasco, who's 15 and seven with an ERA of under four. And if things get crazy and uh, the Mets win both games today and the Braves lose again tonight, we could see Jacob deGrom tomorrow in a crucial game for New York. Atlanta takes care of that if they beat the Marlins tonight to clinch the division. Lane Thomas, a right-hand hitter, batting at 244, 17 homers. The 1-2 pulled on the ground, shortstop hold. Backhanded by Lindor, he can't hold on to it, and Thomas is safe at first. Popped out of Lindor's glove. He had angled his body so that he'd be in position to field the ball and then get the throw off. Lane Thomas gets a hit. Here's C.J. Abrams, who ended up having an off day for his 22nd birthday yesterday. And it's hit softly down to first, and Alonzo's only play will be to take the bag to get Abrams for the first out of the day as Thomas goes to second. 3-2 coming to Manessis, and he grounds one to second. McNeil plays the hop, and that's the second out. Thomas goes to third. One two coming to point and he gets under one and pops it up into shallow left. Lindor retreating, Canna coming on to call. And Mark makes the play and that retires the side. And midfield hit and one left. Corey Abbott, four career games, one start against the Mets so far. Yeah, three games this year, seven innings, three hits. You have a double four Ks. Has to be able to get in on all these hitters. Here's McNeil who went seven for 13 in the series in Atlanta to put himself in the National League lead in batting and he drills one toward the right field corner and that is a fair ball bouncing up against the wall and he's got a two out double and that will only enhance his credentials for the National League's batting title that puts Jeff at exactly 327 Freeman technically is at 324 five so McNeil is two and a half points ahead of Freeman right now for the National League lead. And that's ball four, so Abbott pitching carefully to Alonso, and the Mets have two men on for Escobar. Eduardo just named National League Player of the Month for September. He had 340 in the month. Oh, down and in a beauty. He struck him out with a slider to retire the side. Garcia hitting fifth in the order, hitting 276. And he lines one. Oh, and Lindor is able to leap and grab it. What a play by Lindor for the first out. All appear to be ticketed for left center, but Lindor had the hops. That's it on the ground. Smothered by Lindor. He gets to his feet and throws out Vargas. Second terrific play of the inning by Lindor. And that one saved a run. So two out. Can at first, and here's Tomas Nito. And Nito lines one into center field, a base hit. Canna to second, he'll pull in there. And so the Mets have their second hit, and for the second straight inning, they have two men on. Abbott comes to the belt. And that bounces away from Adams, and the runners move up. Well, what happened there? The right hander ready. He kicks and he fires, and Nimmo swings and lines it fair. Pass Manessis down the line. Caroms off the sidewall in foul ground. Thomas will pick it up. Two runs will score. Throw to second, and Nimmo dives in head first and in with a two run double. And the Mets take the lead here in the bottom of the second inning. It's New York two and Washington nothing. A clutch two out RBI double for Brandon Nimmo, his 29th double. Gives him 60 runs batted in for the year. And he turned on a slider and ripped it. He was the lone bright spot for the Mets in that Atlanta series. He had three hits on Sunday night and had a multi hit game in each game of the series. Slapped on the ground. Abrams gets in front of it. And the high throw, and McNeil is safe. And we'll have to wait to see how they score that. It was going to be a close play because Abrams played it pretty slowly. Talk about smelling a base hit, Todd. He and, can. And he does get credit for a hit, which raises his average to 328. Now three points ahead of Freeman. Pitched very carefully to Pete so far. He walked him on four pitches his first time up. He threw one over his head to start this at bat. Outside ball four, and Alonzo walks for a second time. And Corey Abbott in his third inning is in his third jam. Facing a hot hitter in Escobar, and he misses ball four, and that'll load him up. Well, Vogelback. One of the first things he accomplished as a Met was hitting a grand slam against the Nationals back on August 3rd. Three for six this year with the grand slam with the base loaded for Daniel Vogelback. Strike three call. Vogelback called out again. But uh, you know when the base is loaded, fastballs got to be swinging. And he goes after the first one and hits it well to right center field. Back goes Robles in the gap on the warning track, and he hops and makes the catch. Tagging it coming in to score is McNeil. Everybody else is going to hold. Sacrifice fly for Canna makes it 3 0 New York. Luke Voigt leads off the top of the fourth against Carrasco. Voigt fly to left his first time. 
Oh, he pops one up into shallow center. Long run in for Nimmo and Canna, and it's Canna sliding, and he made the catch with some hydroplaning to boot. Nicely done by Canna for the first down. Nats are already 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position. Here's Eldemaro Vargas, who was robbed by Lindor in a diving stop. His first time up, and he grounds that one down to Alonso. The overhand toss to Carrasco, and Cookie gets himself out of another jam. Abbott will face Tomas Nito, the number nine batter. That's driven to deep right center field. Back goes Robles to the warning track. Back at the wall. It's out of here. Brandon Nimmo clears the wall for his 15th home run of the year. A three RBI day for Nimmo. And the Mets now lead at 4 0. Riley Adams, the catcher, struck out his first time up. That's got a loud sound and a high trajectory to left. Oh, that's gone. Canna back. See you later. Riley Adams. Number five on the year, and a 4 nothing game becomes 4-2. Riley gets behind it, backspins it, get up in that jet stream. CJ's faced him once, a ground ball out. Alonzo retreats, going to take a good throw, and it's off the glove of Adovino, and CJ keeps on rolling. Eric Young Jr., great first base coaching job there, letting him know ball was away, and on to second he goes. Yeah, that's a perfect feed by P. Alonzo. Adovino gets five outs. And now Edwin Diaz will be called upon to try and get the last four. Two and two to Garcia. Tying run at the plate. Abrams is at third. Reached on an error by Ottavino. Covering at first base. And he threw him another to strike him out. So Diaz comes on and gets the third out of the eighth. Trying for a four out save. He's got one in the books. Now Diaz ready to pitch. Swing the ground ball right side. To Capolanzo. He's going to underhand it to Diaz covering. They were running perfectly that time. A 3 1 put out. Two away here in the top of the ninth inning. And now Call, all that stands between the Mets and an end to their three game losing streak. Call with a check swing liner caught by Alonzo, and the ball game is over. Diaz gets the last four outs, and the Mets keep their NL East title hopes alive for at least a few more hours. Mets take the opener of the doubleheader. Brandon Nimmo drives in three. The bullpen turns in five scoreless innings. And the Mets beat the Nats for their 99th win of the year, 4-2. to two.